and disable the Weaver. And also getting just Shibuchi off, yeah. Pick. But, and the Weaver we saw earlier today looked very oh. underwhelming. Tick. Well, far behind on Earthspirit, he's only level one this whole time. Well, every single rotation he's had has been not that useful, and yep, there's suicide. Might as well go back to base. Um, he's got new stuff to buy, wards to get Being tricky. Yeah, Tinker was just going here to farm, guys. That was totally standard stuff going on. Uh, yeah. the oh, deal board. Oh, they stop him. That's the play right there. No fear. He's making oh, a break denied. for the stack. He's actually going to get denied up by the big stack that's there. It reveals the, the presence of the stacks, but it denies for us the team secret. Nobody's died yet. That's pretty surprising. Even if he did die, he wouldn't get much gold or experience. TV's coming in. One. You're probably going to see death in a moment. First TP actually being cancelled, and FNG trapped in by the sensor. Both of them stunning at the front end of the Goku to arrive. And now he attacks over towards the DK. A lot of stacks on him, and the DK can't run out. The wall comes up, and DK will pop the disruptor. Now glimpse back over on Puppy. The giveaway first one of the Bat Rider, but now Tika gets a kill and disrupts. Pick one up two with the first rotation of Yoku. In pro games, maybe this doesn't matter because pro teams very often they do protect each other. FNG, that's not where he really wants to be. Dragon Tail, he waited as long as he possibly could for a Breeze Fire still available. Three points up and a one attack, and the Breeze Fire should be enough. The kick from No Fear and he's silencing him up, allowing for at least No Fear to boulder himself away. But the Breeze Fire still catches up the Bat Rider. Rider and Earth Spirit. Protecting so much. Look where Dragonite's playing. Like, he just knows there's no damage threat unless Ursa's there. That's basically it. So Ursa gets his Blink Dagger or gets a good wraparound. It's hard. Chronosphere over in Aloha Dance. Puppy's coming in as well. No Impetus available. He's going to give enough assist damage to make sure that Aloha Dance will go down. So, Universe. I guess they don't feel comfortable fighting here, especially because they just use Chronosphere. Maybe the one good thing about the is coming there. Right, here they come. No fear getting caught with initial stun, there's still a hex available too. He goes to initial kick, eternal heavy. The swarm currently on no fear, he'll get up the gemical swarm. The swarm's fight. almost killing him at the moment. He's down to 23 lives. Oh, he ult. can't get lost, we just gonna take it out. Disruptor, the ult is beautiful, but then Disruptor, the sun came in from Highlight Eye, creates more space, they lasso onto Arteezy, so he will drop. But Yoku's already burnt the Aegis Immortal, while Puppy, he's hunting himself, Tinkers on the back line. Eternal is gonna stop a double kill. It was first the Earth Spirit, then he moved over to the Disruptor. So both the supports dying. And Universe wants more. He's chasing FNG a little bit further down while Yoku's being chased by Eternal Envy. We're on all fronts. Tinker, TP's in. Trying to create a march for the machines. A little bit more of a, of a cover fire. Yoku is going to die with Eternal Envy. Unpink the tier 2 tower. Tries to turn and fight. Steve actually burns through his Aegis. You burn through his life. And the stun from Puppy. The Mud Golem is still up. You almost want the thing to die. So another two stuns available. Universe has to time walk out. Chrono's up in one second time. So we can turn this one on the FNG. The damage that oh, Eternal Envy's on the edge of it. But he will tie. The Tinker brings enough damage, combining them with the Thunder Striking over. Yoku's already prepared up that overpower. So FNG, Blink, Lasso, all he needs to do is hold Universe in position. We're gonna drop the wall, that will make sure Universe goes nowhere. Really a nice lot game. of all these committed, but still gonna work. Yeah, he had to be patient there and wait. Going out. It doesn't really have a lot on it. It's just gonna deliver the items to no fear. But Universe, Chrono up, he can cash out too. Aloha Dance. Well, I suppose that's one way to cancel off the TP. Dragon Tail would probably also suffice. Not a bad loss there. Uh, better him than both. Well then, well then again, VP, smoke up, they're coming to defense. Every ulti available, Tinker's gonna try and chip him down. It's a level 3 rocket, Dash is jumping. They pick up the DK universe. No Cronus being trying to use time dilation to slip this fight. But Puppy is down. Arteezy will join him and burn his throat. Well, at least they got stopped up, but there's more kills. Eternal Levy being dragged back by the Glimpse. But thanks to Kuchi, he continues to run out. Paradise DP will complete. And that tier 2 tower remains. Fast from this stage. And RTZ usually likes to far more than that. I think they can sense the game is going to go late, basically. But well, Aloha. Not from possible. Guys did the Dragon Ball. Still got Breeze Fire. Aloha Dance, however, had one charge. The damage was not enough for RTZ really to now. find the kill. And VP to count it. Yeah, Yoku comes in. And that's a very, very dead RTZ. Pan I was trying to reach him to help that. Normally you buy Vlad's, and that's kind of the same item. You buy it so that your team does better. There's so much of BP down here in the last two. They catch down Puppy. Ruben coming over for the Dragon Eye. They're trying to get rid of the Observer or take out the vision. Puppy's going to go down the corner sphere. From Universe catch down two, but the damage from the Mud. Not to mention Magnetar's making it difficult. So fear. He'll pop out from Puppy. It's his Mud Golem who came in through the rear. Sniping that one, but you've still lost your Lion. You've still lost your Enchantress. Chrono's fear is down. And the DK hiding behind the tree. The March cuts off the retreat area. And FNG just jumps in. They'll try and then fight them inside the 
Shadow Blade. Protection now for the Dragon Knight. Universe wants a time wash himself out. He's the main man who's visible. And Yoku just pounces on him. They'll move us to T1 Tower as well. And everyone else from Team Secret will TP out. A big fight for the pro going their way. No kidding. This is looking like VP is going to win this game. On the trajectory that right now, they have got this one in the bag. The only thing that's a little iffy is Weaver. He might get a soul kill here. Huge kill for Andy on the top lane. Turning things around there and accelerating and play. And he hits pretty hard right now. He's got super stat efficient items. Aloha. Goodbye. Oh, maybe not. Okay, but yes, good fight. It's the other way I was thinking. He threw down the, the Storm Pranky Pilot Eye away from him, but it looks like they're going to give the Lance over towards the Lion. Okay. And uh, just an easy pick off on the drop zone. Too much needed kills for Secret. Even if they're killing supports at this stage, it's great because they the gold advantage is on there. They make more skills than minions to scout out. Here comes the Swarm. They're going to connect over on Yoroku. And Roshan's still insanely low, and here comes Yoroku. Oh, the Swarm! He can't get the ult, the ult back to the last two from FNG. Aegis Dimor on the head of the Earth. No fear comes in. He turns on the Magnetite. Universe has to bail out, so he has no choice. He comes back in again thanks to Glimpse. Inker of Death will help out a little bit, but Yoku still wants to just keep battling. But with the help of God, Terminal Lempy can't find any kills. They TP out. You got a wall up from Aloha as well, so we can keep Eternal Envy away. Oh, they have to fish it up the hill thanks to the Observer Ward. But. You can't chase that. VP played that so well. Dragonlance are the same. They're efficient HP items that keep you more survival while still giving you some damage. He needs the damage item. Plane gonna go on Aloha Dance. Puppy has no man to help him though. Got and in fact, he actually used his stick charge to give him one impetus for the Aloha Dance. He's got Veil to bump oh, him up no the fourth half out from FNG. They're giving a chrono for this and now Universe. Well, the sun was there for the Mud Golems, but no fear still here. They saw him up and Yoko will finish the job. Goodbye, Universe. And Aloha Dance will survive. Kind of ran out of mana as well. Yeah. He wasn't able to finish him off, but... He used one charge, so he got one Impetus. And that was all. And this is the other problem with, with Hood. Not enough mana. Oh, there it is. Don't he, fear. He Another support in St. Lone Life. He gets the Silence over on the DK. You've still got the armor to help out, but God... Oh, okay. It's not going to help out at all. It's Weaver on the back lines, sniping out the retreating support heroes. Giving himself another kill. Also the survivability as well, just having the catch up sort of defines his health. We saw that in the mid lane before. Highlight dying, initiated on the top. Flame break, just gonna bounce him around a little bit. Uh, and the glimpse, that'll pull him back all the way. If his support was coming, but you've already lost your lion. Yeah. The Earth Spirit Disruptor combo is just so multi-dimensional. They kind of cover the same bases. Yeah, he's having enough this but... himself. FNG's coming down, he's gonna four star, he triggers the dust straight away. Uh, so they still see the move. The move for the Dragonite and Yoku. Blinks off cooldown, he's gonna get okay. in range and now Yoku beats the living crab down the Dragonite. Oh my god. Hey, that Earth is so big. Team Secret actually looks even if this game goes super late, Secret can win this. They've got great late game heroes. Lion faces Void. FNG Chantress. Say hello to Puppy, four star him up, God star smash machine. If you bring support into this, you die. Hello, Hardensi, the sword of TP coming through down the door. And both both of them spotting heroes from each team. Yeah, so they both know, but that Observer Ward is still on the hillside. Yoku very much oh, exposed. Oh, The sun's gonna be there. FNG has to create space. Oh, the oh, four! No! Universe blows the Chrono, but no fear also falls into it. The so Yoku's speaking down. They lost down the Dragonite with the last two, allowing the Earth to go to work, and he's just falling. He got Universe and Pylite died. There's no surviving, and even Envy locked inside the ultimate from Aloha Dance. He'll run towards the tower. There's a short moment when they had vision. Now can Shikuchi away, FNG, no Firefly, no four stop, and he goes into the side shot. Yoku tracking him down. He's got the scent, the wall from Aloha. Envy is locked, you can't get out. It's the team wipe, Vernus Pro. They are taking a couple. Easiest fight for VP to turn that around with gold advantage and experience oh, advantage. Like FN God, they can do it again. The observable scout can't be moving over, and Yoku, he don't care what's untouchable. He's all over it. Who doesn't have actually anything. <laughs> but he's got levels, that's all he needs. They're peeing out again. VP have got so much information from this observer war in the mid lane, but Puppy just gets munched. A double damage rune Ursa. Words are likely on their side of the map. It's already done. Kept them together. Roshan into the hands of Ursa's Pro. They give the Aegis the Mortal, of course, it's into the hands of the Ursa. Yep. And it's a five man smoke from Secret. So up from the tier two tower of Ursa's Pro. They move into the mid lane. You're going to fight into a team who has Aegis the Mortal. Two ways to march machines down. No fear will die. Aloha Dance will join him. They can get the damage. They blow the dump. They don't speak for a dead. There they go. Heavy with a double kill. But you got a big, big Ursa looking for an 
turns an eternal envy. The pilots of all the damage to be done with VP. They've lost three heroes, but they still have the two major cores. So Secret, they take the fight, but they don't burn Aegis, and they don't take the two minutes just now. Be like, oh yeah, BT, BKB, and then get a Silver Edge. Hey, Toby, the game might not go that long. It may not. They're jumping in, they find the Dragonite. Dragon tells some will happen. The Observer War's still there, however, which means Arteezy glimpsed back in and what? killed off. One minute without Arteezy. They look like a sub- called the Hollow Deadless. So he can't instantly join the fight, and Arteezy, okay. he underneath the Observer War. The fresh one from Secret will be placed on down. Now they can see the reason why they lost the Secret. But again, it's one minute without our tour. Too late. Like they know, but it's too late. Unfortunately, they didn't play the stick with code fast enough. Yeah, and then that's another cheese. Oh. Yeah, we're going to see a pause. Hold the phone. Okay, they that ops. Disruptor. The ops and sentry, they know the dire observer ward is there and they're coming up. Yo, he's going to be locked in by Kylai Zai and taken out this fight. While Chronosphere will isolate Aloha Den, but DK still so low. He'll kill off FSG. And now this Team Seeker actually picking their targets really nicely. Yoko, he's still not involved in the fight. Your Aegis, the Immortal Carry, was zoned out by just a lion. And oh, Universe taking a ball of damage. He'll throw down the disruptor all this below Aloha Den, but the damage from MP was still good enough. Universe wants to chase further. He's got Blink and Diffusal available, so he can slow down one hero. If he time walks forward, he does not want to do that. Up against Ursa, who is waggling his tail, hoping they'll fight. And now they're actually forced to. Universe pulls back Highline Knight to Space Creator, but not the Space Now with Eternal Envy. They have to find a kill. Ghostbuster slowing it down to the drop to stay alive and allowing God to rip in the damage. Now the Aegis will go for Pumpy, almost for 100%, down to 10. The Dagon will smash it down. Envy will start his own. TP out to safety now. Round out for his BKB wears out. Yeah. And be invisible. And normally I wouldn't expect Weaver to do this much damage, but the Tinker didn't go an armor item yet. It's it's a very enough here because there's no there's no uh, ward. That's what he's looking oh, for with the sticky napalm. Oh, he flies him. up, he sees them all, jumps in, grabs the DK Master Machine, cover fire is there, and one Cronus Fear. Nasty caught no fear in a low heart hands on the back line, but you've already lost that TV. Who's gonna go ham? Until Universe just bounced himself out with that time walk for the channel and BKB charge. Wow! That Pat Rider explodes with the Ghost oh, Hunter up from Bud! They're gonna kill him off! It's a double kill for Eternal Envy! Yoku's jumping quickly as well with Aloha! Now the Ultimate will go down to Pat Rider! He's sticking down the Rain Fear! It's on the deck of Pat Rider! Five back time with the Zen! But the Rain Fear's already gone! It's not gonna fear! The Earth Spirit currently is dealing about 440 damage a pop! Aloha's on the run! Puppy needs his kill! The Ghost Hunter no. causing troubles! And a pause will come as Arteezy is happy with the early advantage they got because that Chronosphere. That's pretty good. Yeah. Like, it could keep Aloha out of the field. So Aloha, goodbye to you, Ghost Hefty. That's going to oh, lose the going damage. Oh, they're going to be Two minutes, that's a die back. Aloha will survive. And now it's going to be Poppy as well. Oh, boy. Team Secret, oh, you no. thought they had the kill. They thought they had the kill, and then Yoku just pulled. He bought back before. Oh, they buy everything. So they're trying to go high ground, and they're healing him up as much as they can. Because they, they try to survive. Oh, Good luck, Universe. The last move, they find the target. Dragon Knight Universe. The Chrono will come. The DK's already down. Not so far behind this one. He can just keep going to work, Universe. He's down so low. This can be That's it. Too many heroes lost. Puppy will die as well. There's just nothing more in the tank. GG. No, right. Team Secret of the Lava Dragon. Get a date with evil genius to battle and keep themselves at the ball of right. Can they actually keep secrets at EG Town? This is the biggest upset in months, I think. The whole series as well from like game two. The fact that this happened and then the instant follow with game three, Team Secret losing that one as well. Absolutely unexpected. No one saw this coming at all. Everybody on the panel said VP was going to lose. Hey, there easily. was one man that stood up for him. Was one Toby? man. It wasn't me. It was it was Gareth. Uh, uh that didn't feel full hearted. It definitely I, wasn't I was me. Like, it was a